Hello again, friends and comrades, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Classic of classics, as we always must say. Here we are in the ancient temple on the planet of Rakata. I think it's called Rakata. I mean, I think they just call it the Starforge planet or something. Um, so far, we've been having a pretty easy time of it. And I don't think that's about to change with this encounter. Who dares intrude on our... Revan, yes, I'm Revan no longer. I serve the light and the Jedi Council now. What happened to you? The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. It's cute that you have matching robes. Light side points gained. Yay! <laughs> A little disappointed that I missed twice there. That was kind of shameful, actually. Um, <laughs> okay, there are masters in there. Sith power gauntlets. Oh. Oh, what is that going to give me? I don't think it, it can't be better than these Dominator gauntlets. They're only plus three. Okay, well, you can have them. Sith power gauntlets. It's not the nicest thing to give you, but... Whatever. Nah, you should use the dexterity, old man. Uh, you can't use any of those other things? You can have a Sith energy shield. That's fine. I won't judge you. You can have that. Just kind of redistributing some things, you know? Um... Dark Jedi Knight robes. Now the Caldroma robes are by far the best. Okay, uh, I want to heal. Yes. Um, yeah, last time we had a pretty easy way of things. Like, I, I kind of vaguely recalled the robots in here, the droids being a little bit more challenging. But it is not the case. Isn't that a light side power? Destroy uh, droid? Lord Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Yes, but did you train under ten times Earth gravity? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like I said, easy time of things. Upari. Uh, I don't think that's one of the ones I was looking for. Another Sith power gauntlet as well. No problem. Got it. Simple. Okay, there's a workbench. I could check. I could check my. No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> Cut it open. God, we don't need any more experience anyway. Oh, this one, this one. There we go. Powered light battle armor, verpine prototype shield. That might be good. That might be decent. At this point in the game, what's the point of even locking things? <laughs> like, there's really no chance of. Didn't work. Oops! No, no, no. This one, this one, this one. There we go. Weird that he targets the wrong one. It's weird that they were giving grenades at this point too. It's like, I guess if you put a lot of points into, into detonations, um, maybe, maybe you can. We have Solari and Opala. No, I think that's that one needs to be like that. Opala and Sigil. I think Upari might be one of the ones we wanted in this. Yes, because it's the two D six that gets amplified by. Um, by the sneak attack. Next door? What's that one? No, okay, now that one's useless. Sabbath? No. Yeah, so Upari, because of the 2d6. That's what we want. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. What does Opala do? Oh yeah, massive criticals. Yes, definitely. Um, so there we go. There's our end game lightsaber setup. Oh god. These Dark Jedi. No challenge. 
Wait, you... Oops, no, 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 don't throw... Ah, God damn it! Do that. Thank you. Sure. Bye-bye. Goodbye, scumbag. Let's do this. What the hell? I'm... I'm pretty sure those are both supposed to be hostile, but... It looks like because I clicked on them as the door was still opening, I bugged them out. <laughs> what? I got stunned? Wow. Very impressive. Very impressive. Your technique was even able to block me. That's crazy. Um, do I have to do something here? Place the computer... Okay. I don't really need to, like, overload anything. Armory. Oh, yeah, that one. We've already been there. Um, prototype droid command room? Nope. I guess there's really, like, nothing we need to do. Okay. Oh, hey. Now it's, like, now it's gotten hostile. That's good. Apparently we needed to just use that computer console to reset them all. There we go. <laughs> See, I vaguely recall these droids taking more hits to kill, but I guess, uh, I guess not. Plus, the, the jump damage always gets sneak attack bonus, so I guess, uh, I guess we're just stupid overpowered. Which is super easy in this game, like, it's kind of hard to not be overpowered at the end of this game. Like, I'm not even using my critical attack ability. Mainly because I just don't need to. <laughs> I wish I could set it to his default attack, though. Because I would like him to do it more often. Um, we don't currently avoid the, uh, the bonus. I have to be buffed up to avoid the uh, penalty. Oh, yeah. We're just, like, taking a casual stroll of this place. Oh, yeah. I find that this metal box I remember being bugged. I don't think I've ever been able to loot that. Hey, okay, are there... Oh, here's the end. We're back at, like, back at the beginning. Okay, so we need to go to the basement level. Unlock the roof level. Um, let's... Oops. Let's zoom this. Let's get zooming. Wait, was it this way? No. God damn it. It was... I, I kind of don't like this blurring effect. Okay, so further on... I think it's here. Yes, here we go. Temple door. And then down here, we can open the way to the roof. Where we're probably going to find another super ridiculously easy encounter, to be honest. Because I'm not sure anything can really take us on at this point. That hurt, I bet. What? Hello, Chief. That hurt, why not? Okay, let's... It's okay, we sacrificed him for the greater good. <laughs> Alright. That's the easy way to disarm a bunch of mines. What? What is it? What? There we go. And a Sapeth crystal, which we're probably not going to use. Wait, I already opened this, didn't I? Okay, never mind. We will continue on. Well, what was that? Oh, a 
storage cylinder down here of all places. Okay. I like the design of these plasteel cylinders. I don't know if it's like the most functional real life design, but um, I do like it. <laughs> oh, this puzzle. This puzzle I vaguely recall being kind of annoying. But it's one of those puzzles where... Okay, I may have screwed this up. I may have screwed this up. It's one of those puzzles that's supposed to be really easy. Like, if you know the solution, it's ridiculously easy. Like, it's something really stupid, like, just walk around in a circle. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Aha. Now we've got it. The Rakata computer. We can download DNA samples and all that stuff. I have to remember to go back to the uh, the Oracle cast and I almost was, but I'm you recognize me? Oh. God. People at the Sith Academy didn't know who I was, like not a single person knew what Revan looked like. And yet here, it's like everyone, everyone and their moms knows who I am. It's crazy. I need some information. Looking for genetic data for the Rakata. Oh, nice. How useful. Let me get the Star Forge. Infinite Empire's power, yes. They're feeding energy off their own sun. I know in a previous episode, okay, I, I may have said that uh, it looked like the Star Forge was orbiting this planet. That's not true. God, I saw the cinematic again after I made the video, and I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just want to formally, you know, state that I realized it was orbiting the star and not the planet. Um, I guess I just wasn't paying attention at the time. <clears throat> but yeah, it's like feeding energy off the star to function, which I guess is cool. Uh, how can I shut off the disruptor field? How can I access the upper levels of the temple? Ah, they will once again open for me. Excellent. Uh, do you know anything about star maps? I'll use the star maps to find this place. Okay, I'm out of here. Peace out. So yeah, I have to remember to go back to that Oracle cast with the uh, genetic data. Be like, here, maybe someday you'll be able to use the Force again. You know? Just... <laughs> Okay, we can turn off solo mode, yes. Come with me, fellas. Yeah, if, if you... I mean, luckily, solo mode automatically turns on when you get to that puzzle, but if it didn't, it would just be super annoying with them constantly moving over the blocks that you just moved over. Turn solo mode off? Yes. I thought I already did. Come on, putzes. Let's get out of here. Gotta go home and work on our putts. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. We have to go all the way back around that temple. And I do want to do it with my blur, with my speed, but... God, the blurriness is just kind of annoying. But, let me... The blur effect is a little bit annoying. Especially in these, like, darker indoor spaces. 
like turning this corner, for example. Oops. It helps if you look at the mini-map instead of the screen. Open this massive door. Oh, kill this massive robot with one hit. Kill this other massive robot with one hit. Oh yeah, here we go. Ugh, oh, come on, slow pokes. Where are you? These droids don't drop anything for me. Oh god dang. So the worst part about what is it? The worst part about like reselecting mm -hmm. what? Okay, they are on their way. There they are. That's annoying. I don't know how they got lost, but it is what it is. I guess it, it happens. Oh yeah, this scene is actually kind of cool. I like how they presented it. I'm going to show you, because, you know, first thing we're going to do is loot these, because they're right in front of you. They're, they're empty, though. That's kind of weird. Why would they give me empty ones? So, yeah, I like how they present this. Like, look, there she is. Really nice. And I guess the, the droids in the in the temple have to be a little bit easier, because if you don't have Juhani, it'll just be two of you in there. might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malik arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. Yeah. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. What are you, colorblind, Juhani? She's clearly wearing a black robe and has a red lightsaber. She's the most obvious Sith I've ever seen in my life. No, Basila, don't go over the dark side. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. Like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something... She's been red sabered. But in reality, <laughs> their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you... That's probably true. The Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. It's not too late, Basila. You can still turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge Such a ridiculous anger. statement. <laughs> he showed me the liberating power of these emotions. I mean, I guess it's not, then he made me <clears> not untrue. To to torture does mind by right. It's like trauma on people, and trauma can change your behaviors and personality. Child, like an inferior, they were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. I know, I would chafe under the Jedi too, to be honest. Meditation for their own use. Don't be lured in by these Sith lies, Basila. Propaganda. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council and the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side after I prove my worth by killing you. Oh, okay. I still got you. Nah, that was the easiest thing ever. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. Power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. I draw my power from the light now, Basila. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. 
I use the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That is how I know you will come back to the light. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. Not a tool, you're a tool. Now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted you felt my taint? Much. But now <laughs> I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. I would love it if you would embrace my dark side. Learn from my mistakes. It's not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master. Hold on, you didn't realize that before? <laughs> I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. That's super tempting, but I'm not Revan anymore. I don't remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your That's power, your fault. Your strength Jerk. of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from this path, Vesla. The dark side only leads to destruction. Vesla, it is not too late for you to be Shut up, Juhani. I got the this. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is she yours wasn't in a to cave. command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Although I wonder if she was originally intended to be in that lightsaber crystal cave. Like at the end of it. Because that would be kind of interesting. You have to defeat her and then get lightsaber crystals. But they probably realized, oh, maybe the player needs these lightsaber crystals to get an edge to defeat her. Because she is probably the second most difficult encounter you can get to at that point. Um, but she's not... It's not that difficult. Uh, Lord Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. God, how long Together does this have to go? Malik and ruled over an empire. There's only so many ways we can I state, like, hey, come back to the light. Hey, come back to the light. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Yeah, run away, little brat. Cool looking ship, though. Weird that we just got a flash of the menu there, but whatever. That's it's a neat looking ship. I like that. I like that a lot. It's weird that we've never seen any other ship that looks like it up to this point. <laughs> there we go. Maximum light side. Yeah, why not? Let's level up. Uh, Yeah, let's get our strength up. And I don't know. Security, I guess. Turn it up to ten. And we get one more. I guess we're gonna go with the that and there's really nothing else I need here. Um Force resistance, maybe, but it's not really super important. Force suppression. Do any dark side users actually use any of those? <laughs> Fear, slow. Yeah, dark side powers we don't need. Um, I guess force resistance, why not? <laughs> don't really have so much use for any of those. 
do I... Why can't I see what it does? There's no beats. Okay, anyway. Um, can I now? Oh, I don't know who has it. That plus five dex gauntlet. Who has it? Would Karth have it? Or Mission? Either Karth or Mission has it. Um, oh no, not Gauntlet, Implant, the Implant. Probably Karth? Cut down, Planetary Disruptor Field, and that. Okay, there we go. Now we can go back to the, uh, to the Oracle people and be like, hey, here's your genetic data. You can possibly start to use the Force again in the distant future. After some like generations of eugenics that I'm gonna inflict upon your that I'm gonna have permitted your people to do basically, um, I'm an enabler for some horrible, horrible pseudoscience, and man, there's gonna be like some terrible discrimination, ableist policies in the future of the forgotten people. They'll be like, we need we need to breed force users. Okay, so I can't... I used to be able to swap my party members here. Okay. Oh well. We're gonna go give them the genetic data, and then we're gonna go back to the ship. And, uh... Oh, you know what? I probably can't swap my party members anywhere until I go to the ship and actually, like, talk to Karth and everyone. Be like, oh, Bass, let's turn to the dark side. You know how things go. You know those plot twists that, in Star Wars, at least, are kind of repetitive. <laughs> someone falls to the dark side. Someone has to get rescued from the dark side. You know. Big bad villain has to die, but someone else falls to the dark side, and we still see the light in them, so we can, like, turn them back. <clears throat> it's, uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay, I'm sure the galaxy will welcome you with open arms. Okay, I don't know if that's true. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, it was in here, wasn't it? Um, hey, I have... I have found data on the genetic structure of your species. Blessings of the Elders. Ah, uh, yeah. I like, um... I think if you side with the One, he, like, promises that he'll be able to waken the Force in you or something. Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of KOTOR 2. KOTOR 2, it's like one of them says, I can, you know, help you restore your Force powers, and then he gives you, like, one Force point. He increases your maximum Force points by one. It's the, uh, it's, it's in KOTOR 2 with the, um, Ithorian. <laughs> if you support the Ithorians on Telos. I thought that was really funny. Way to troll the player and... You know, your problem is one thing and you give them, like, a fraction of it. It's, it's really funny. Alright, light side space paladins, let's do it. We are force paragons, light side force paragons, let's do it. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna go talk to people, we're gonna go find out who has my dexterity implant, and I'm gonna equip it on this guy, so he'll be, like, reasonably defensive in addition to being an offensive wrecking ball. Offensive in the sense that he, like, he wrecks 
you know, he, he gets work done, not uh, in the sense that he just, like, swears people's heads off. Insults them, you know, insults their mothers. You're back, but where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Oh, you guys are gossipy. <laughs> Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Star Forge. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Carl. Bastila was strong. She was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet she was a little strong in the head, is what he's saying. Starforge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Hmm. But she can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now difficult for her to break free of his influence. Not really, we just Especially have to defeat her. her <laughs> defeat her in combat. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? She touched me. The dark side, so Basila could too, right? And it was so you meaningful. To save her. We can try, and we will. I don't know what the fate awaits us. No doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, uh. I was able to. Re oh, do I, I have to do it myself though, don't I? I have to, like, go in here and repair my hyperdrive. There we go. Got a little experience that I don't need because I'm already max level. It's now functioning properly. Uh, so, first things first, I need to know who has that implant. <laughs> what the hell? You guys aren't gonna. Yes, what's it? You got it. I can't even, like, access. Got something. Your equipment? What the hell? What do I have to do? Do I have to, like, come over here and. Yes, to the Star Forge itself. Let's do this. Big greenie. The Bit Republic blurry. <laughs> must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Fawn Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the I can imagine the pretty old. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. You would this is think. Andor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our <clears> fleet <throat> under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but 
The Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. You would think, like, the stakes here are high enough that Vandar himself would be going all in on this, uh, like, he himself would, should be boarding the Starforge. Why would he wait on the capital ship? It's ridiculous. He should be, like, going up and doing some Yoda action on, on Malak, but I guess we're just not going to be treated to such. Pretty cool cinematic. A bit blurry, but... Got in. Got in with a couple of other Jedi's. Blah blah hum. Okay, now can I see everyone's equipment? Yes. Who has that? Cardio power system, constitution plus four. That's pretty sweet, actually, but. Is it you that has it? Nerve enhancement? No. Hey, do you not have... You do have that. Okay, so I should give... Hold on. Hold on. Give him that. You should be the one who has the cardio power system. Constitution plus four. Like, look at that. That's a lot of... That's a decent amount of health. You can have a Sith power gauntlet, too, while you're at it. Um... You don't have any of those. That's unfortunate. You. Did I not buy the plus five thing? You can have the, yeah, the Sith power gauntlets. Oh, you know what? I gave it to Zalbar. That's right. Even though I don't plan to use him, like, ever. Because... Why would I? Advanced Alacrity Implant, yes. It only raises my defense by plus two. I guess that's decent. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely liking that. Plus ten to hit. Plus ten bonus from strength, that's beautiful. Okay. Well, there you go. Now we're ready. So I'm thinking, uh... I'm thinking Jolie and Mission. Oops. Thinking this will be our final party. I could swap Mission out for Candorous, no problem, but... I never use Mission, so... <laughs> that's basically the main reason. You made it. I always use Kendra's Several here. Jedi have already gone ahead into the Starforge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before Aren't you Dia from Terrace? Oh my god. Damn! No, we don't so want any of your Girl Scout cookies. Sith. We'll deal with these Sith. Ah. You get into the Starforge and find Bastila. Hurry! I remember the uh, combat animations in this game were just like the most amazing thing at the time. <laughs> I think I just did like a long range attack on him. That's funny. I am like automatically moving to the spot where I should have jumped. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So, is there anything we can loot around here? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to finish everything. We're going to like go through the Star Forge. I don't know if there's a difference between these two paths. Oh, I do know that there is a difference, but I just don't know if there's like. They all lead to the same place. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to go the left way, because I'm a leftist. We always go left. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, friends and comrades. This has been Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Classic of classics. We're almost done.
next episode, the Starforge. Until then, be seeing ya.